Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Oirat campaign, the Oirat Oppression. We're fighting the Mingans with a 4 versus a 6, and yet watch their numbers just go away. Gosh, I'm so tempted to not, not convert. I just, I really am enjoying how strong hordes are. But it does feel like the right decision. You know that saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it? That kind of thing? Well, uh, the fact of the matter is that uh, sometimes when it ain't broke, you do got to fix it because it's going to get broken. You got to plan ahead. It's just, it's them's, that's how it works and that's how it works. Forty-two percent chance we can take the war. Come on. Is it just me, or is he going after this army? There's a pretty hefty number of troops there, but... Hopefully he just stops there and doesn't actually engage that guy. Let's me siege it back. I'd really hate to lose another fort. But that one might fall. We could move in further. What's this then? Defended Frontier. Attrition for enemies plus three. Wow. Nasty. Alright, well, let's just pull back. We're done looting. We're done doing all that stuff. And we're just gonna take this. 42. We're just gonna take it. See? There we go. Op op you just gotta be optimistic. They're at zero enthusiasm. Would be better if we could wait for them to be at, at uh, low. So yeah, we can take the capital. Oh, it's so beautiful. Is there anything else that we want? Beijing, worth 43.9% of the trade power in this node. That's so valuable. Do we have claims on anything else? Nope, just Beijing. Alright, well then yeah, I think we take, we take Beijing and we take war reparations. And then we take a lump sum. Um, not that much lump sum, apparently. And let's wait just a, like a little tiny, tiny bit more. Let's just see if we can get them down to low. Korea, what's what's your deal? We have 9% war score with you. We could separate piece them and get more war score against... Ming. That might actually be enough. You're far too large to vassalize or anything. Far, far too large. Maybe if we do take just like two more provinces, we can actually get war operations from them. Let's try it. And their enthusiasm is pretty low. Still, I'd like to end this battle, or end this war, without another battle. Glorious armies are under attack. Four on eight. They got a lot of cannons, but we're in our own territory. Oh, that's that's the Timurids. Boy Rat and the Timurids. Apparently I've got a small army here. Okay, well. Might lose our first battle. No individual war score with you, so... Once you peace out. Hopefully that doesn't give up much war score. Yeah, 92%. We can't lose any more fights. Alright, let's go smash the Mingans to make up for that. And now... We have 12 war score. They're almost willing to give us war operations. I don't expect them to make a lot of money, but... You know, war operations from more countries would be nice. Current peace offer, length of war, occupied and besieged provinces. 
Why don't we go move on another another fort? Yeah, let's just move on to the fort. We'll suffer on arrival attrition, which is unfortunate, but if we have more occupied and besieged provinces, he might just be willing to give us that money. That probably just affected relative strength of the alliance. We need Korea to be at low. What's going to make them go down to low? Occupied and besieged provinces looks pretty good. Um, Fort-wise, yeah, I cannot actually siege any more of Korea. We can loot some money from them. And they are very close to taking that thing. But that's going to go to... It's going to go to Ming, so it's not like it's going to help war score for Korea. We are at zero reasons. Oh, he still occupies it. Are you going to chance or control of that? You don't have a claimer core. Alright, looks like I'm getting too greedy. Why did you not transfer control of that? It's kind of strange. Maybe because it's a fort. The Tong is mountains. I can be there on the fourth. It's too slow. Well, war exhaustion is not really a problem. Um, so it's not like we need to get to peace. We could just try to go siege it back. But without that... Yeah, without that fort, I can't actually get to 10 war score. Oh, it's going to take forever. We can't even assault because we don't have any any, uh, any infantry. Ports should be able to be able to assault with merc with uh, cavalry. All right, I'm not gonna wait. This is really unfortunate that we can't actually do anything with them because of that one fort. But let's just white peace Korea. Uh, Korea. And then we will negotiate with Ming. I want Beijing, I want your money, and I want more more money. I don't want any more land, although we have a lot of points. Maybe we could take another province. Would we rather have a province, or... I think what I had been doing is just like stealing the forts that they build. And I think that that's quite fun. What if instead of taking the money, and consequently the inflation, we just ask for more land? Like that one? That is in the... Eh, it's, it's in a decent enough trade now. Yeah. It's like two provinces. And apparently only 100 ducats. Warrior right, will gain 25 power projection. It's not bad. Okay, let's just make sure it's right. Ming will seed Beijing. We took the capital. We will take that. They'll be forced to give us 10% of their income for 10 years. They'll pay us 104 ducats. Sounds good. Done. Beijing is mine. So we've just taken two more forts. Um, we are still at war, but we're not really involved in this war. So let's go ahead and mothball all the forts. We now make eight ducats a month. We need a core. That's a lot of points. Beijing is expensive, man. This might be a bit excessive now. We could probably ditch a fort or two. Uh, okay. Tumen Ezin, controversial protectionist. Since Tumen Ezin... Is that an advisor? Yes, trade efficiency guy. 
Internal trade has been strengthened at the cost of curtailed imports and increased state regulation. While the decisions to improve infrastructure have been appreciated, recent suggestions have caused many influential people to question his philosophy. They argue that the Khan is taking Tumen Ezin's advice too readily, and that we should look for mutually beneficial deals with other nations rather than seeking to dominate every area of trade. No. We're going to dominate every area of trade. Beijing, Toro 33 development. The, uh, the trade power we're going to get from this is going to be quite s outstanding. Trade income is going to go up significantly now that we are pulling 81% of the trade value in Beijing out into here. So we're sending a lot forward, and there's only one output location, so it has to go towards our primary node where we have 95% control. This also gives us a little bit of trade power here. We actually have transfers from traders downstream plus 23. If we weren't overextended, we would have even more. Ming, of course, still has a ton. And that kind of makes sense. That's excellent. Um, if there were any other more, any more, any other estuaries we could get our hands on, I'd like to, like to get those. I mean, eventually we want to work our way along the coast. Um, I can't remember, actually. Do, do coastal provinces still get a bonus to their trade power? Coastal plus 25? Yeah, okay, so it's just a flat 25%. It's not a huge amount. It used to be um, inland provinces had one mercantile, or one, one trade power by default, and coastal provinces had 1.5. And without buildings, that alone was pretty significant. I remember we don't have a truce with Yarkand. Ooh, apparently the Timurids own some land. Well, we've had some weird stuff happen with Reconquest, so we're not going to be using that anymore. Instead, I think we just end up conquering this guy, right? It's all accepted culture. Yeah, I think we just take it, maybe give the land to the Timurids that they have cores on, because it's 8 Diplo versus 10 Admin, but we conquer the rest. Are we ready to fight Uzbek and Khorasan? Khorasan has Afghani cores. Afghanistan is not our vassal. Well, we vassalized the Timurids because we we're going to feed all of Persia and Khorasan to the Timurids. Afghanistan, I wanted to vassalize. We're five out of four relationships right now because we have too much military access. Now we'll have three out of four. We've got no guy, the Timurids, and Chuchuki as vassals. We can't integrate you because you've migrated too far away. But you're exploring for us, so I guess that's nice. Well, if we use tribal conquest against you, we end up at war with Uzbek. Uzbek is... None of it is, is really good culture for me. What kind of culture do you guys accept? Bashkir. We've got Siberian and Ostyak. Hmm. Siberian is in the same culture group. So, at least the land that Uzbek has that's Siberian, we could take and give to one more province. Okay, well, let's let's cool it for a little bit, though. We don't need to do it quite yet. We'll just give it a little bit of time. Maybe finish our course first. There's a lot of... Uh, out of autonomy. Oh! <laughs> Independence for Yaren. Active missionary is not helping. 
That's right, we picked up some boats. Well, we don't need the galleys. We probably don't need the transport. Let's protect in Beijing. Let's see if we can force some of that money to, to actually... Might actually get more value out of... No, without a merchant there, we're not... Well, the only person steering out is Korea, actually. So any trade power that we will apply will go north. Is it Girin? Why is Hung Zhu not showing up? It's within range. Alright, Beijing it is. Lose money? Sure. Malwa will give up a bunch of stuff. Well, I don't know why it's not showing up right now. I don't really care. So, okay, this is mountains. Um, if you were to rebel... Oh god, it's it's all so horrible. Let's do this. I want to take... Three quarters of that army over there. Two of it over there. 90% chance that it fires right now. We've got unrest in Hulunbur, Buer, war exhaustion, overextension, suffering, bereaved. These things need to go away. Good reason to stay at peace for a bit. Maybe we get lucky and he's allowed to continue converting for two more months without a rebellion. There's about an 80% chance that that happens. 90%. Nope. Unfortunately, we got a luck. It's a fairly sizable rebellion, actually. So we got three sieges. And of course, they engaged there. Alright. Um, please don't tell me that's a fort. It's not. Peace offer from Oman? Nope. Whatever's going on, I'm not going to peace out. Oh shoot, that's that's part of the problem. We're not at war. Or, we're not at peace. Okay, well, um, a white peace is not a surrender, so... Yeah, okay, fine. We don't lose Defender of the Faith. We did our job. We, we helped him. Unfortunately, we are going to lose control of... At least one of these things. Stupid separatism. Alright, 90% now on this one. That's gonna be a big one. Well, now that we're at peace, we can actually get our war exhaustion to come down a bit. Nope. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that one's already fallen. But we've already... Okay, we're already locked. Let's grab you, who was over there. And... Oh, God, you're so far away. Oh, God, they're so far away. Well, it didn't take them long. It's still his step. It should be pretty easy to take back. But that increased autonomy is rather unfortunate. So we're making pretty good money. We're getting 6.6 uh, .6 ducats from the Mingans. Quite happy about that. 
We do have free diplomats. Oman did just peace out, so I may have been a bit preemptive in my peace, but... We needed to let that war exhaustion come down. Probably could have avoided the, re the rebellions had I um, realized that we were still at war. I don't know how I forgot. Uh oh. Shoot. No, don't take the fort. This is rather unfortunate, but we've got to just take this fight. We will arrive on the 6th, which is in five days. Okay, come on. Please don't lose this fight. I do not want to deal with a freaking fort. Thank you. Nation of Kandesh, our brothers and sisters in the face, we're requesting you come to their aid. We accept. At the beginning of next month. Well, one more tick of, of uh, recovery. Okay, so the rebellions are pretty much over. Siege back these holdings. Consolidate troops in the center. And we will now accept. Which puts us at war with somebody really far away. Kandesh. Gosh, you're going to need help, aren't you? Rats. Well, we are the defender of the faith, gosh darn it. Let's go help them. Alright, I'm going to take a break here. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.